Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today, we'll be opening up one of the uh, turtles from the uh, new re newly released uh, Kame series, or specifically this is the Kame 04, or I guess the Turtle Set 4 series, which is a spin-off of the um, Dangomushi or Pillbug series. So yeah, uh, this is a Capsule Toy here in Japan. It released uh, the first week of July, so this actually just came out this week. And um, yeah, it's 500 yen, so it is much smaller, so let's get it open. So yeah, uh, as always, you know, it's wrapped in double sealed plastic. So there's one, and there's, ooh, oh, that's nice. So I wish you could pick it up on it, like this time the shell's got like a nice matte finish. So I guess uh, everything is painted, unlike, I guess, kind of like the first couple the first uh in the series set one and two where the um where they did have the details on it i guess the paint uh what is it the details were just painted on the shell and then the remaining stuff was just kind of um just the plastic so it was kind of shiny so yeah so here it is so for those wondering here's the logo for the comet series does it say comet so usually before kind of here had like a baby that said the number so this time yeah uh so for those wondering this piece you know there's the little booklet Right here, so um, for those wondering, this piece is merely a throwaway piece. It's just kind of there, so when it's in the capsule machine, it, it's just like nice and round, so it's able to roll and slide off things to ensure um, it doesn't get stuck in the machine. So, but, so yeah, for those who don't uh, wondering what it is, it's a throwaway piece you don't need. Although you know, it is kind of nice here, and then you know, a nice display kind of if you want it, but it is not needed. So, and moving on, let's just go to the booklet. So yeah, so here it is, Kame, the turtle, number four series. So this should be the Kame Shimbu, or like the newspaper for this series. They always kind of have that, yeah, the Kame Shimbu, so. Uh, all of the uh, Ikimono series, the living series, have this. So, ooh, this, this time it kind of tells you um, how to get the shell out. So first you gotta pull it out. I'm guessing so down here, actually. It actually pulls out, pulls out, pull the body out and stuff, and then the back too. Oh, interesting. That's a nice way they did it, to get it in that nice shell format. Hmm. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, that's really cool. So, so here it's just saying like, ah, uh, you know, if you push it in and it's stuck or whatnot, you can actually just remove the shell here. And here is the lineup. So here, uh, I think, uh, I'm not really sure which one that is this one is. I think it's this one. The Semaru Hakogame. Semaru Hakogame. So Semaru, I'm guessing it's kind of like, um, somewhat kind of a, what is it? A narrow or tight fit. Uh, a narrow box garment. I did look it up on Google. I think they said this was the Chinese box turtle. So then there's the other one. So in this lineup, you get uh, two different molds. Uh, you get this mold. Uh, the I guess the uh, box turtle mold so there's this color there's a d dark slightly different uh, skin colored one and then there's this rustic white version and you also get the uh, new <laughs> new color black version of the snap uh, snapping alligator turtle as well as a rare real color version but honestly I didn't really care about this as I actually already got one of those from the previous set turtle 2 so and this set, they're always reusing mold, so I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, I just wanted the one of the mold, so there's that. So this one is kind of teaching me how to do it. So for those wondering how it, these looks like, I'll show you a bit. Although it's just a different color, but yeah, interesting. So let's get on with this bit. So this is interesting. So right off the bat, like um, just feeling it, it's really, it's got a nice matte finish. You know, um, sorry guys, let's see if I can, like it's up here maybe a bit. Like, it's got some nice detail here. So on the shells, it's nice. Some nice detail here in the sides. So let's get this guy open. Um, So you said you can just fingernail, pop this down. It is a bit hard, so. So pop it up. Oh, look at that. Little guy slipping in there. So I'm guessing you pop this one all the way down, it said. So, and the legs, I guess, are crouched like that. So you just gotta, so yeah, like as with all turtles, generally I think, because the limbs here are soft plastic, the first time you take it out, it is quite tight, so, but don't worry about it, so. 
Uh, the arms and legs can easily sometimes pop off and they're kind of just peg joints, so don't worry about that. You can easily put it in, so. Ooh, ooh, man, that's gross. So it's, uh, I'm sorry guys, you can see it's kind of easier to tell. So like the coloring here, it's got that wet, glossy paint here, giving it this really kind of like wet look, which is really cool. Nice soft plastic, so let's just get this leg out here, rotate it out here. There we go, and a little pop. There's one, kind of like Godzilla. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and the head sticking out. And get the other leg out. I'm not what? So, okay, there we go. Ooh, oh man, that looks, ooh, from the front, that looks terrible. <laughs> like, um, I guess you, you can see it, like it's all hollowed out. I wonder if you can. No, but. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, guys. Uh, let's see if I can actually get some of the lighting a bit better. For you guys. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, kind of like inside, it's kind of like just the head that's kind of cool. Or not cool. And then the mouth. Uh, generally, if I always had a problem with the mouth. With it being soft plastic and then like the paint. Kind of like hardens in the mouth and you just got to kind of get it out. Yeah, so let's see if I can quickly get it if not i'll just uh you know pause the camera a bit and grab it out uh, there we go so there we go so yeah real i always love it like real good attention to detail you can kind of see like bits of the teeth or whatever if they have teeth up there nice molding detail with the tongue let's see get yeah so you can yeah, it's hard to show it but um See if it, so yeah, it's really hard to show guys, sorry, but um, yeah, oh actually, hold on, I'll show it off a bit later, I'll just grab my phone, and then I can do it, so I think it says pull the head out this much, with the legs yay high, with like this, ooh, that's a nice detail, it's got like this little webbing thing, and then you just pop this closed a bit, so, kind of like this much, I'm guessing maybe his arms stick out this much, I don't actually know how his legs are really supposed to be, so maybe this much, and then the back should just be the... Oh, cool, look at that. So you can pull out the tail here. And the legs, um, is a bit hard to grab out, actually. Maybe I was supposed to grab the legs out first. I'm not sure, actually. Let me grab the little newspaper. Did they suggest the legs first? Because, no, it just said pull everything out. Boop, pop it out, pop the legs in, and you're good. Okay, so, yeah. So they did suggest that one. So how would one go about getting the legs out when they're kind of like really lodged in there so you know they did say you know don't worry about it just pop like this entire thing out so no one be too worried about it so i think it said like here at the shell is where you can actually pop it off so let's just show you guys if i can do it yeah so you clearly right here is where if you have a problem with it you can just pop it out as that's where it connects to the shell. So put your finger's nail in there. Kind of just get this in there. So yeah. Hmm. It's a bit harder than. Oh, 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 there we go. Let's just gonna pop this down. There we go. <laughs> or everything went into pieces, but. So yeah. So as you can see, it just pops off right there. Nice and easy, nothing to worry about. It's designed to be popped off. So yeah, so I think that's what they said, like, oh, look, if it's kind of hard, just pop it out. So because like clearly like getting this leg out is really difficult, especially the first time around, it's like even with this, unless, was I supposed to lift this or? No, they make kind of like, hmm, not sure, but yeah. So definitely, I think uh, if you get this, maybe the first time, just unplug it completely. Just so like that you can loosen up the joints because this is really tight. Yeah, based on this, there's no way I could have gotten this out without doing anything. Although, interesting, this moved a bit, so. So I would just... Hmm. Yeah, even then, uh, right now, like this is really stiff. trying to get the leg out. Well, the 
foot here is in the way, so there we go, loosen it up a bit. Get the leg down here, so yeah. I would just probably wiggle this around, but yeah, because it's a soft plastic on here, it is quite tight. There we go, got the leg. Notice it's legs the other way, so. Turn it around, so. There we go. And as you can see, that's how the gross his little thing is, so yeah. And let's just fix him up. Um, uh-oh, <laughs> which way was the shell? I think, I think this should be the front, right? So, we will just put this part back in here, like so. Although the legs are clearly, ah, okay, okay, yeah, so. We just put this, this, so, like here. And then put this piece this way. Yep. So these piece. So this piece, long piece here, just plugs up in here. No, just gotta align stuff nicely. So here is just ridges here. So once uh, so I'm pretty sure like as oops, when you do it like this. Ah, so there's ridges here. You just line them up here. And then this one plugs up in here. Maybe get the leg out of the way. You've got little pig holes there to kind of like really lock it into place. There we go. And then we just push these back in. Assuming I got all the turtle. And there we go. And now he's all set. You know, the legs are honestly though still a big pain. Maybe his legs should stick out that much, maybe. I'm not really sure, but yeah. And there the little guy is. <laughs> Sorry guys, it took so long, but yeah. So he's actually a really flat turtle, you know? So, you know, just to show off the belly. So there are some nice detailing here, like um, it is painted. So it's nice and flat, but there are these like weird kind of like mm, designs here, kind of like, I don't know how you would say it, but you know, like on turtle shells, you could do have the lines and then just even on the, each kind of like little plate thing, they have it. Nice line detailing there, like each little claw there around the neck. So yeah, uh, this one I have like the line painted here. It's kind of yellow, so really nice though. He feels really nice although um yeah as i mentioned in previous videos like uh this turtle series was the first one to come out i guess um as the spin-off for the uh dangomushi series or the um what is it the pill bugs so after those guys who were quite cheap like this these came out and these were really cool but honestly compared to like the insect ones these ones are a bit lacking but still really cool figure for a little turtle but so yeah um just do a size size compare uh, size size comparison first off you know as always with the digimon card um this is just a generic poker size playing card you know oh no uh poker card pokemon magic gathering so size wise <clears throat> uh if you tuck him all in the shell he would actually be like would fit just inside the shell you know, lengthwise, he's about yay long, you know? If we start from the tail, his head sticks out just a bit. If you start from the edge of the tail, I meant the shell, you know, kind of like this much. Height-wise, you know, hmm, I'd say he'd be about like this much for the side, so, yeah. When comparing him with other turtles uh, from the first series, you know, the ones with the long neck, so you can kind of see here, he's much... These guys have the much bigger shells for the tortoise. But lengthwise, they're about the same. Honestly, I like that. You know, and then I'll leave him here, you know, if uh, you have the more rounded one. The tortoise ones, you know, if we just stack them up like CA. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're kind of different molds, but this one's more rounded. So kind of like that. 
sorry, Buster. What? Let's just keep all these tur different turtle molds out there. And of course, the one we showed before, that's the most similar. The snapping alligator one. The piggy nose. So yeah. So I mean, uh, lengthwise, they're about the same in length. Overall, but like this is more spiky, more detail and ridge. This is more hollow. Um, yeah. Lengthwise, kind of like this. If we stack them up, it'd be about like this. You know, thickness, they're about the same, so. Kind of like much, much. You know, um, for those maybe who have other stuff, you know, like the lizard from the same set. Uh, not same set, uh, the Dango Mushi series, so much longer. So yeah, um, com I'd compare them to the beetles and stuff, but honestly, I'll be honest, it's kind of a hassle to bring them down right now, so. But yeah, um, but if you guys did want me to do a comparison of that, just leave me a uh, comment down in the comment section below, and I'll just kind of give you an overall size gauge of how it is, but yeah. So, sorry guys, my little box is there, so little stars over here that's just how all the turtles there but so yeah that's pretty much it for this review guys um overall i'd say it's a pretty nice turtle i do like it quite a bit um like in terms of paint apps and stuff as always it's really good uh the way they designed it does look really realistic um the only thing i don't really like is how like this head is this color but the legs is this weird grayish color it's kind of off like honestly it could that could just be how a real the real box turtle is like i don't know like in terms of sculpt as always it's like impeccable sculpting like the detail to the shells like just the paint like the eyes you know like the eyes has that nice uh what is it like a glossy paint so it kind of reflects kind of like it's wet like the lines on the side you know like they put a lot of detail and coloring with the molding and stuff so i really really like that but yeah, um, the overall it's pretty cool. Um, as always, you know, if you love turtles and stuff, I would definitely say, you know, get it and stuff. Because, like always, how many different turtles, um, like toys or, or display pieces can you really get? Um, so I would definitely say pick it up. Uh, I guess but if one were to ask, like, oh, which of these turtle I like the best? Um, personally, I think I like the first set the best. Just because I like how, like, long the neck can kind of pull out. The volume... And, and I think it looks the cutest. Um, Shell-wise, I definitely think this has the best shell, like, in terms of design, coloring, and just, like, the texture and the matteness. I think this has the best shell out of all of them. But the off coloring is kind of off-putting. I think if the leg color and the head were matched a bit better, I might like it a lot bit more. But I do like how, like, they had this, um, the way they designed it this time. So maybe because uh, the head is too big, maybe the real turtle, the head, because, you know, real things are squishy. It's e easy to kind of like pop in and out, squeeze in and out. And this is a cool way that they managed to do it. So really enjoy that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, overall, you know, like I said, um, would I recommend any of these turtle over the other ones? Not really. I mean, honestly, they're all pretty cool. There's none of them are really like uh head and shoulders above the other one so i think in this case it would definitely be a more of a preference of which turtle or tortoise you personally like the most you know just these ones the snapping ones or like the box shell i think that's pretty much what it would come down to in the end but yeah so anyways guys thanks for watching and as always let me know down in the comment section below if you had any questions or comments once again guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this and hope you see you guys back again on another video uh next one actually i'll definitely be opening is the armadillo that i managed to get and it's the rare one too so look forward to that guys anyways busters thanks for watching and hope to see you guys again as always this is buster coon here off to find his swanky street <laughs>